Swagatham, welcome back. Now we are into part E of highway alignment. And that's about circular curves, which is a review of course. A simple circular curve is nothing but a segment of a circle and it's used for horizontal alignment and it has a single constant radius. Of course, circular curves are based on the properties of a circle and the properties of circle are derived from this equation of circle which is x square plus y square equals r square when the origin of the circle is at 0, 0. But if the origin is at a different point, say hk, the second equation you see on the screen, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals r square. Again, r is the radius and that's the equation that represents circle. And we're not going to dig deep into circle and its characteristics, but rather we are going to use some of the basic curve formulae and uh, we're going to put them for use in highway alignment. Let's see what they are. Let's do a quick review of all the formulae that we need. Let's say here is a highway which is going in that direction which needs to be changed its direction there which is going to be at point of intersection PI and it's a deflection angle of delta and now we are going to insert a circular curve in between these two so that the change of direction happens all along this circular curve and at the beginning of the curve and end of the end of the curve you will draw a line to the center which will be your radius of the curve and at the and the deflection angle here is going to be uh, the central angle is going to be the same as delta the, as the deflection angle of the original alignment and the beginning of the curve is pc for point of curvature and the end of the curve is pt for point of tangency and the tangent length pc to pi is t and pi to pt is also t and that's the property of circular curves and it's given by the formula t equals r tan delta by 2 and now the next element is the length of the curve which just flickered in your and that is going to be l equals pi divided by 180 times r delta and now if you connect the center of the circle to pi and it's going to divide this central angle equally delta by 2 delta by 2 and now we have if you take the 100 feet length of a length of the curve and see if the angle subtended by that 100 feet length of the curve in the middle is you call it d and that's your degree of curvature and this one is because you are measuring this 100 feet along the length of the curve it is called the arc definition and just we will use only arc definition don't get confused with any other definition and now the ordinate length from the pi position to the peak of the curve is going to be e and that's given by the equation should have appeared on the screen it didn't and the horizontal line you draw from pc to pi are not always horizontal pc to pt sorry is going to be chord and uh, there it appears the value of e that chord is very important actually when we are dealing with the horizontal curves that chord line is what you're going to be your line of sight that's line of sight of course is going to dictate your sight distance right keep that in mind that chord here is going to be your line of sight and now the distance from the curve to the chord is also very important which is we call it ordinate distance which is m and that is given by this formula these are some of the most important formula that you need to not remember actually that they, they will be available so you know you should know how to use them and that's uh, those are the elements that are required for you so these are the definitions of each of the elements i just introduced in the picture in the previous slide here is the relationship between r and d and these formula at least the formula for d is very important and you will see in quite a few problems on horizontal alignment and i'm not going to read it for you this uh, just keep in mind this is an important formula 
Stationing. Station is nothing but shorthand designation of location on the highway. And 100 feet represents one station. Fractional feet are followed by a plus sign. For example, location at 1138.6 feet is represented by station 11 plus 38.6. On horizontal curves, stationing is done along the length of the curve. Along the length of the curve. Sometimes horizontal curve problems are given in terms of bearings for alignment based on which you have to compute the necessary angles. Let's review the concept with an example, a simple example. Here we have a linear alignment of a highway along AB and the bearing of AB is North 80 West, and that's how you say it, are simply N80W. The highway then changes alignment at B into BC, and BC has a bearing of S25E, or South 25 degrees East. And here, presumably, not presumably, B will be your point of intersection PI. And what you have to do is, you have to design a circular curve for alignment A, B, C. How do you first compute the deflection angle, or which will also be your central angle of the curve, delta? How do you compute that? Here is how. Let's say this is our north-south line, and this is our east-south, east-west line. N80W for AB means it is 80 degrees from north. Likewise, BC is at 25 degrees from south, and by doing simple algebra, you will get the value of delta as 55 degrees. And that's how you would use bearings to compute the necessary angles, not just for horizontal curve problems. Uh, as a matter of fact, in FE exam, there will be problems on bearings. It is that simple. Yes, it is that simple. And that's it. There's not much to this review. But these formula, every one of the review we have done here is very important. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Dhaniwad. Shukriya.